Hi everybody! So we all know that Easter this year will be a little different, but doesn't mean we can still have a happy and very beautiful Easter at home together. It's hard to go out and get some chocolates and treats, so why don't we just make our own? I prepared this chocolate cookie sandwich recipe to make your Easter happier. It's also a very good way to get your children healthy and having fun in the kitchen. So let's bake! In the night before, heat 160 grams of cream into a pot. Make sure not to boil it. Once very hot, add 80 grams of banana, turn off heat and cover it for 30 minutes. Cool it down and keep in the fridge overnight. Get the cream and banana mixture, blend it and get it to warm. You can use the microwave. In a medium-sized pot over medium heat, get 230 grams of sugar and in small amounts add and melt it. Gradually add more in small amounts until all melted. Cook until golden brown color. and then add the warm cream banana mixture. At this time, you can see that your pot can't be small as the cream can come over the top, so please be careful. Cook about 1 to 2 minutes, then turn off the heat. Add 7.5 grams of butter and 625 grams of salt. The texture should be gooey and smooth, not hard. You store in a container and refrigerate for 1 to 2 hours. Heat 9 grams of cream into a pot with 60 grams of corn syrup until well combined and melted. Pour over 180 grams of milk chocolate, wait about 5 minutes, then mix well until all combined and very shiny. Store in a container and cover the filling with a plastic wrap before closing the lid to avoid skin over top. Put filling into the fridge for 1 hour. The texture should be soft and thick, like a ganache. Measuring out in a mixing bowl 300 grams of butter, 2 grams of salt and 100 grams of icing sugar. Using a paddle, mix very well until light and fluffy. Measuring out in a separate bowl 270 grams of all-purpose flour, 90 grams of rice flour and 40 grams of sifted cocoa. Add to the same bowl and mix on the slow speed setting just until combine it. Even if it's not all combined, when you get it out, you can still mix it well when putting it together to shape on the plastic wrap. Shape the dough into a square shape to make it super easy when you roll it flat. Store in the fridge at least 2 hours before using. Get the cookie dough from the fridge and hold it over a flat surface. We will use a holding pin and some parchment paper for holding. I divide my dough in two parts to fit on my trays. You can use a dough scraper or a knife for it. Hold the dough using the holding pin until about 3 mm thick. The scraper also helps to shape the dough.
Get the dough from the fridge. Cut to using your cooking cutter. Feel free to use whatever size or shape you want for your cookies. Cut them by pressing the cutter over the dough. If you need to, use an offset spatula or scraper to remove them from your surface area and place them on a tray. Make sure to give them enough space between each cook and then place them back in the fridge for them to firm up slightly before baking. Try to use all your dough. Any leftover pieces can be rolled and cut again. If you re-roll, you will definitely want to refrigerate again before baking. All this time, it can start to heat your oven. But if you fasten off while you're cutting them and they are still cold, you can just go straight to bake. The most important thing is to have the dough very hard before baking it. This way, your cookies will be nice and buttery, very crunchy and not soggy. Bring the cookies from the fridge to the oven. Make sure your oven is preheated and place the cookie tray on the middle rack of the oven. Bake it for 7 minutes, then turn the tray and bake for 7 minutes more. It's hard to see the color when it has chocolate dough, but you see that the top gets dry enough and the bottle well baked. After removing the cookies from the oven, place the tray on a cooling rack. If you don't have one, place the tray in a fresh cool area so they can cool completely. Arrange them on the tray between parchment papers. For decorating, I am using a white chocolate cookie decoration which I bought red to use. If you can't find a red made, use some tempered white chocolate. I am also using some chocolate sprinkles. To decorate the cookies, they need to be completely cool. You can use more colors and toppings or just keep it simple, whatever you want. Get all the cookies you'll be using for the tops of your cooked sandwich and have fun with it! Now get all your bases and your fillings ready. Start with the chocolate filling by filling your piping bag and piping around the cookie. Make sure to leave a space around the edge so that when you add the top cookie, it doesn't all squeeze out. Fill your piping bag with the banana caramel and pipe it inside your chocolate filling circle. Enough to fill the space. It's about a teaspoon. If you don't have any piping bags at home, you can use a spatula to spread the filling over the cookie. Make sure to spread the filling very gentle so you don't break the cookie. For the caramel, boil it out with a spoon into your hand and make little balls about the size of a teaspoon. Place in the middle of the cookie. Make sure your hands are a little wet to make things less sticky. Finish the sandwich by adding the bases to the decorated tops. Press the tops very gentle until you can see the filling is squeezing out just to the edge. And then, they done!
If you would like to make this cute basket for your Easter cooks, check the recipe on my video, the automated date dessert. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I had so much fun making these Easter cookie sandwiches and I really hope you did it too. If you liked this video, don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe. It really helps the channel to get as many people as possible and with these tough times, everyone deserves a very fun and tasty treat. Thank you for watching, have a happy Easter and see you next time!